In this video, I want to show you how to add a video in the background. As you can see here, I have this video of me playing the, um, the piano on the background, uh, but there's no sound. So this one of the cool things that you can do is if you have a video that you want to show in the background, just a video alone, uh, then you can do it like this. I don't know, you've probably seen websites where you have you know a video in the background. Okay, so let's get started with how to do it. So first, what you want to do is you want to uh, click on to add a new row. So once you have a new row, so let me just delete this. So we're going to click to add new row. And then from here, you want to go where it says row options and you click on this and you go over to style and you want to click where it says uh, enable video in the background. So if you don't see anything drop yet, just click on apply and you might have to come back here again and click on there. And now you're going to have something like this. So what you have here is you have enable video in the background. This is going to allow you to add your video and you have two formats. You can add an MP4 or an OGV. But in this case, I'm going to add this MP4. So you click on upload a video. Now I already have one video here, um, but let me just go ahead and grab this video. Let me just go ahead and just delete this one and I'm going to grab it again just to show you. So you click to choose where you have your videos from. And I'm just going to grab this one right here. And it's loading. Give it a few seconds to load. Okay, now you notice that you have this message here that the file is too large to upload. So if you get this message, it's okay. Just click close. What you want to do is you want to go to contents, go to the media manager. Uh, what you have to do is you have to set your upload limits to increase it because by default it's set to 10. So when you go where it says maximum size and megabytes, then you want to set this, you want to change this, but keep in mind that your server has a certain limit. So if you exceed the limit that you put here, then your server is not going to accept it and you're going to get that error message. So uh, what I usually do is I put this no more than 50 megabytes because you really don't want to upload a video that's really large. Um, it can cause lots and lots of lag on your site. So once you've changed this maximum size and megabytes from 10 to 50, you click on save and close. This way you're going to upload video that's no more than 50 megabytes. So let's go back here now. Since we've changed that, I'm going to X this, just apply. And I'm doing it just to refresh it, just to let the system know that, you know, I'll have something, I made some changes. So let's go back here and we're going to grab that same video. So here's the video again. I'm just going to click it and you notice that it's loading a lot faster. That's because you've you told your server that you have something that is a little bit more space than what was there before. So now the video was just successfully uploaded. So you want to click on the video and then click on insert. Uh, and then when you come up here, matter of fact, let me go ahead. Let's click on apply. So when you click on apply and you click save. When you go on the front end, you don't see you just you you could barely see the video uh and the reason is because the 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 pixels or the space is not sufficient um enough so what we're going to do now is we are going to edit it so let's go back to row options and we are going to this is the pad in here so there are several ways you can do this if you want to see the space the video playing you can add more content in the middle that is going to automatically just give it space um, or where it says the pattern, this is for the top pattern. I can make this, let's say seven, I'll make this 600. So I'm going to change that from, from the default of 50 to 600 and I click on apply. So let's click on save now. And when I refresh this, you notice that you can be able to see the video a little bit more. So if this looks good to you and this is the size that your video shows and you want to capture just that top part, you can do that, but if you want a little bit more space, then you can go to row option and you can change this to 700. And then once you change to 700, you can see if that's enough space for you. So let's see how this looks at 700. Okay, so 700, it still looks okay, but I want to add one more 100, uh, 100 more pixels. So I'm just going to change this to 800. So let's go back and see what this looks like if it covers everything. So let's refresh it. So now it's at 800 and it's shown a lot more. 
so you can build more from this so if you wanted to add words over this video you can definitely do so so I'm just gonna click on add on here and let's just grab a call to action and you put the title and then you want to scroll down you can put in a subtitle and you can choose the size I'm not going to change that for now the color you can add more content content there if you want to and then this is where you have the the button link you can put in watch full video okay and then you can choose you can add you can actually link this somewhere else so you can choose the standard you can choose uh, the button size I'm going to choose large and then where it says the button icon I'm going to choose the play uh, let's see what else do you want to make this full width no I'm not gonna make it full width so I leave this at the bottom so you have the option of showing this to the right or to the left or different place so let's click on apply and let's take a look and see what we've got so now you notice that it's, it's here at the very bottom and you can see uh, play now but the problem is it's too much at the bottom so what you want to do if, if you if you're facing something like this is you want to come back here let's come back and we're going to change this from 800 let's put that at 500 the pixel so for and then let's go back and let's refresh it so now it's you know shown a lot better and it's not just um and if you want to definitely reduce it more you can reduce it more it gives you so much more flexibility I just wanted to show you how to add videos on the background uh, just like this so feel free to get an experiment with it you know you can if you want to decrease the space that you have more you work a lot here with the margin so you have the pixels you have this is for the top the right the bottom and left so if you want to change the top let's say you want to change that to something else we we'll put in 300 and you want the bottom to be 350 you can make that change click on apply and you just see what this looks like so now you have this right here the text is more in the middle of the page uh, and then let me just change that button color to something else so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to change this the call to action button uh, what we've got the default so let's make this let's say something like warning and then save so as you can see there's so many ways for you to so now you have this blue and if you, you can change the wording too so let's go ahead and change the words for this the words we're gonna make this white now there are two ways you can make this white so you can either go to the row options or you can come here when you go over to the row options it's going to make all the content text that you put in this particular row white or if you want to make just this part white then you can do that so for this video I'm just gonna make everything that's there white so let's go back to row options and I'm just gonna make the color change that to white and then once you apply it you notice now that um, everything there's so white or whatever color you want but it's, it's a beautiful video on the background and you can pretty much upload any one of your videos and it looks really really cool